Welcome back to the channel everyone. We're out here in the large greenhouse today. Some beautiful flowers coming up in here. We are out here checking out our large compost heating system. We've got some major work to do. I've been kind of working all of this up. So we've got this area right here and this is about an eight foot circle, maybe nine feet. Uh, I used my nice tiller there. We had purchased a tiller because it is an absolute godsend when you're trying to break ground because we do a lot of work by hand. All of these tasks can be very back breaking and I try and do as much as I can by hand so we don't use fuel and stuff like that. I just wanted to talk about our compost heating and kind of give a prelude to all of the things we've got going on in the process of getting all of this set up. I'm kind of sinking my compost pile in the soil. This big old ring is going to be for compost. Compost heating, we are going to use our solar powered systems that you see around here to kind of push water, push air, to get the best results that we can. We're kind of doing a large experiment. This is a bigger pile than we'll have ever done. So it's kind of interesting and I want to get everything set up. So let's jump right into this. I'm going to get this all situated and then I want to talk about what we've got going on and our systems going forward. So that worked up a pretty good sweat. I've got all of this excavated out about to where I want it. I may go another six inches to a foot deeper and just keep loping all of this up and healing it up and basically making a giant ring here. So we're going to be placing all of our compost in here. So building up the outside of our ring here is going to benefit us in multiple ways. We are going to have insulation, we are going to gain some height, and we are going to gain the geothermal insulation. Aside from the mounding of the soil, and the deepening of the pile, we will be able to block all of the wind and all of the snow will pile up on it. And we are going to use leaf bags or straw bales on top of our hilling on the outside of the pile. So the whole inside will just be strictly compost. So I wanted to bring this little update to share what is really going on behind the scenes. I didn't wanna just dig this massive ring, build everything and run my copper without sharing with everybody so they can kind of understand and see how all of this is going together. And I really failed to do that on my small Jean Payne compost heating video. So this time around, I wanted to show everybody exactly what's going on. So I'm gonna bury something here to wrap my copper around. I'm going to run my copper lines and I'm going to lay all of my PEX tubing down. So here we are at our makeshift little window that I got a frame up here to actually seal it up. Looking out the window at our copper wrapped post. Now this is a couple days later I've picked this up and we had a bunch of rain which kind of washed all of our ring away and washed all of that mounded up soil back into the ring. So I'll end up excavating this out one more time but I wanted to get all my copper coil wrapped. I went with a smaller softer copper coil because it was very hard to wrap a big thick copper tube around this small post. And I didn't really wanna use a 55 gallon drum because that takes up so much center mass that I wanted to be able to just have a nice slim center mass on this copper coil so I can get a lot of compost in this ring I'm going to build. And it should cook for months on end through this whole winter into the next summer. So these two little copper tubes are each end of that constant wrap that goes around my little pole out there so we are going to be using some type of pump in order to pump the water from our large overflow tank here into one of these lines and then all of that will run through a nice little insulation wrap we're going to wrap all of these up with insulation we've got to secure all these wires we don't want water and wires all next to each other so I have a lot of work to do. I'm gonna run some conduit, a little piece of conduit to kind of separate everything out. And as we insulate that copper tubing, I really wanna insulate it with like three or four inches all the way around both those lines, all the way out to the pile, maybe a foot into the pile, I'll have it insulate. You can see I've got this maybe three foot gap from my pile to the greenhouse. I want to close that gap and maybe make about a foot gap because I'm going to be running air lines through the side of the greenhouse here and they will be insulated as well. I wanna do some insulation around those lines so I can run 
my hot air tubes through this compost pile and kind of get to the middle of it but still leave enough space between the air and water moving systems that you don't disrupt the actual cooking and the heating of that pile naturally. It's quite the change in weather. It's rather chilly outside today and I was just sweating in the first half of this video a couple days ago before we had a major change in weather pattern. So that really makes me want to jump start getting all of this situated. So I wanted to get my copper tubing laid down, get all of that situated on the pole. I'm going to come and excavate around the rest of this ring and I will be putting a nice fence. I'm going to use some type of hard wire fencing to fence all of this in, have a nice solid fence that doesn't want to crumble under the weight of all this compost I'm about to fill it up with. So my work is basically cut out for me. It feels great to have some sunshine in here. It really brightens up the greenhouse and it gives the illusion that it's a little bit warmer outside than it really is. So winter is coming and we're trying to prepare for all of this. And I hope to bring updates of the whole process of this so I can share it with everybody. And by the time I get all of this finished, I want to have such a large pile that I could possibly harvest some methane off of it. So I'm going to construct my own system I'm going to use some type of tarping system or some type of bagging catchment system. I'm not sure what I'm going to build yet, but I'm gonna put something together where I can put it over the top of my pile and possibly harvest all of the methane that is created from this pile in a true Jean Payne sense. So I hope sharing the entire process of everything I'm doing here and how I'm setting all this up is really beneficial want to thank everybody for watching this video and following along with all of this. I hope to bring some more updates here soon as we get some more work done on this little project here.